okay so now as you can see we can't rotate our camera okay so we need to type a script so when we play the game on mobile devices then we want to rotate the camera using the touch okay we don't want this movement okay we want the touch movement so for that what we will do is to actually type a script okay and then using that script we will be able to rotate our camera using touch fields okay so now first of all we don't need this uh, third person answering machine but for now let's just leave this as it is and let's create a c sharp script right here by the name of mouse look okay and then open the script and in here create a header by the name of minimum and maximum camera view okay and then we will say public const float let's create a y minimum which will be equals to minus 50.0f or you can say just 50f actually and after this let's create a private const again let's name this as float y maximum and this is basically the minimum and maximum values on which the camera will rotate left and right and up and down okay actually up and down now let's create another header and this will be by the name of camera view in here we want the camera to look at the player so for that we will create a look at point okay and let's create a reference to our player as well after this let's create a header by the name of camera position and now right here we will create a public float by the name of camera distance and this will be basically the distance from the player to the camera and then create two private float first one will be current x and then current y and they will be 0 f after this create a public float and this will be our camera sensitivity which will be equals to 4f by default we will be able to change it so that's why we make it public after this we need a reference to our touch field or you can say to the floating joystick actually make the s small okay and let's name this as floating joystick that's it then down below create a late update function and in here the current x will be plus equals to floating joystick dot horizontal and we will multiply that by the camera sensitivity and then with time dot delta time because we want the camera movement to be smooth okay and after this the current y will be then minus equals to floating joystick dot vertical and multiplied by the camera sensitivity and current time then we will say current y is equals to math f now we want the up and down movement of the camera to be restricted by this y minimum and y maximum okay because we don't want our camera to just go inside the surface okay so for that we will say math f dot clamp 
then current y and then let's pass the y minimum and then the y maximum that's it after this we will create a vector 3 by the name of direction and this will be equals to new vector 3 and there for the y we will pass 0 for the z 0 then for the x we will pass the minus camera distance and the reason we use minus distance because if we use just camera distance then if we try to move our camera to the right side it will move to the left and if we try to move it to the left it will move to the right so that's why we use the minus sign right here to just simply make the rotation flip okay then we will say quaternion rotation and then quaternion dot Euler let's pass the current y and the current x and then for the we will pass 0 then we will say transform dot position now we want the camera to look at the low point so the transform dot position of the camera will be equals to the look at dot position and then we will say plus rotation and let's multiply that by direction and then we want the camera to look at the look at so look at dot position that's it so this will be our mouse look script you guys change this to y minimum actually okay and then right here we have the script ready now we can just simply delete this third person same machine and in cine machine so delete both of them now we don't have the cameras we just have the camera right here which is this main camera and what we want to do with this camera is that this camera will be basically our third person camera so let's name this as third person camera okay remove this in machine brain and to this third person camera now let's add the script we want this camera to look at the player and let's create a look point for the player so we will create an empty game object and this will be by the name of camera look point let's click on third person camera Oops. Where is our camera? There it is. Let's actually name this as third person camera. Okay. Then in there, add that. Now let's move this look point up here. Okay. Now let's click on the third person camera. Now it needs the floating joystick actually. So let's get back to the 2D mode. Let's focus upon right here. Go inside joystick, prefabs, floating joystick. Let's try and drop this inside player UI. Then click on this prefab and back completely. Here is our joystick. So move it right there. Now let's resize it. So this will be our touch A. Okay, from here the player will be able to rotate the camera in this floating area okay and actually make this transparent so if you click on that let's actually click on background and make this transparent open up the background let's make the handle transparent as well that's it Now let's just quickly test our camera and see how does it looks. Okay, as you can see it shows object reference offset. 
Okay, here it is. Let's assign our floating joystick there. And now we want this to follow the player. Now as you can see this camera is following the player but if you notice it is really far away so now we need to fix the camera distance if you click on this let's make the distance as 2 or 1 no make it 2 and then let's move the player camera look point a little bit above so we don't have to remove let's focus on our player actually let me remove these stupid AIs because they are firing at each other and making me sick okay so there is the player now Let's go inside simulator. There he is. Let's click on this third person camera. Let's make this two. Okay, and you can notice now that our camera is moving by the touches. Okay, let's make the sensitivity 200 now. And as you can see, we can just switch the camera rotation by using touches, as you can see. Okay, we can move as well you can do this as well okay so the camera sensitivity will be 100 or actually let's make this 200 and let's make this 2 and now let's fix the camera look point okay so if you click on the clear camera look point let's actually move this right there okay and move the look point up here then to this side okay it looks good like this so now let's copy the component copy component that's it now let's click on player and paste component values now if you play the game will notice now that it is looking pretty fun as you can see but now we don't have the aim camera so let's create the aim camera as well now so just simply duplicate this third person camera where it is third person camera duplicate it move it right there and change its name to aim camera okay and then let's deactivate that third person camera and activate the aim camera and now let's set up the aim camera so for aiming i think we will just make this one okay that is it so make this one for the aim camera now let's activate the third person camera and then click on the player as you can see now moves the aim camera so drag and drop the aim camera then it moves the third person camera so drag and drop that and that is it now these errors will be gone as well so now if we play the game you will notice the camera switching okay as you can see now if we try to fire where is the fire and where is the aim fire okay so now everything is working fine we now have the PC inputs we have the mobile inputs and now we will have to test this on our mobile phone okay so you can test this on your own I mean you will know how to test this on the mobile phone but if you don't then follow the next video in that I will tell you how we will test this on our mobile phone so let's just end this video right here.